I think that level might be uh, it might be readable. Yeah, it's Bufflin time. So this is Chicanery by Bufflin and Nerve. I would assume mostly Bufflin on the level design. It says that it's a seven exit intermediate and it's um, Bufflin's first, very first SNW ROM hack after many years of honing my level designing skills on another Mario game. Possibly a sequel to some sort of game where you make Marios, I would guess. Look, I worked on this very hard in the last couple of months, hope you'll enjoy it. Started a solo project but fast, realized I would need help for certain things like overworld, palettes and art. So I invited my good friend Nerve from Tobeo 1 and 2 to help. Tobeo 1 and 2 are very good games and Nerve is a good maker. Uh, it's an intermediate Kaizo, starts pretty smoothly, gets much harder, quite fast. Not fully vanilla, plays vanilla. Includes certain trolls reminiscent of old school hacks. So we're thinking, we're thinking invisible coin blocks, we're thinking a fish falls on your head. Uh, that's about all I got at the moment. <clears throat> Have fun with the Intermediate Kaiser. It's got a 1 rating of a 5, and that's Revelog, who uh, yeah gave it a 5. And we have to stop him, this chicanery. We've got the title screen. We have the lovely overworld. I feel like these images are scaled. They're not pixel perfect. Don't worry about it. Um... Yeah, net, jump on a thing, falling platform, double bounce the thing, a cool P-switch level, I guess those turn off somehow, eventually. Uh, more cool overworld, interesting use of those little grassy edge things. Some might call it cut off, but I see the intention. Uh, we got a, uh, we got the icicles from Mario Maker 2. We have a a vertical swimming level. Uh, what is that? Is that a sprite kit? Like, what is that? It's like a, some sort of, I don't know, there's a block behind that guy. Um, and we run up a wall into spikes, is probably what happens there. And then we hook out and hit an on off, and uh, you know, something happens there. It doesn't matter. Uh, so 17 eggs is what we're looking for. It starts smooth and ramps up pretty quickly, huh? Let's play Chicanery. I've been looking forward to this one myself. Why is the Mario thing all the way out there? I have died, just like an OG Kaizo hack. But not our Luigi. Couldn't be precious Luigi, stealing them blind, and he gets to be a plumber? What a sick joke. But it's fine. Uh, Nerve's house. What's in Nerve's house? Uh, this hack started as a solo project by Bufflin, but he later invited his friend Nerve to help with the overall palettes and some level design. Nerve designed five sections of the hack. They're marked with an N logo on the top right of the screen, as you can see right now. That's the N logo. And those birds have dropped some poop on the Nerve sign. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Anyway. Good Saturday otherwise? Yeah, it was a pretty cool Saturday. Overworld. We got clouds at the top. Which is interesting. And the they go they go over the foreground of the clouds, I guess. I don't know. Um nice colours. Very cool. Yeah, pretty nice. Nice looking game. Yeah, some interesting overworld combinations. Very cool. All right, let's play a level, huh? Crushing turts. Nothing we like better than to crush a turt. Uh, yep. Just gotta go further. Boing. Hit the block. Uh, oh, right, yeah, that makes sense. I had to think of it. I was like, oh, we gotta eject the dude out? No. Don't eject the dude out, it's fine. So just a big high bounce. Catch it. Catch it. Okay, get a couple of dudes spawning. So I think I just wait. Pretty, pretty tough so far, I have to say. 
Oh, scroll stop. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, we gotta catch the it's like a double damage boost, I guess. So it's like you gotta you gotta damage here. Throw that up, and then I jumped as high as I could. Yeah, that's uh, we gotta that five tiles. It's very awkward. I'll work it out, but it's at the end of all this. It doesn't have to be smooth to be a Kaiser ROM hack. What's on this thing? Congrats on your first H. Your progress will only be saved on physical midways, never on a door or pipe transitions. That's a good little heads up to have. Okay, that's not just a stand and throw. So like, what is it then? If it's not a stand and throw, is the spin throw patch on, I guess. So maybe we can throw it on the way down. Yeah, I think so. I think it might be. All right. Really tall jump. All right, you got to know about that. All right, boing, boing. I don't know. You'd put a one way there for a reason, I guess. I didn't get a high bounce. Oh, so, oh, I didn't. I, why couldn't I jump? Oh, it's because of the one ways. I didn't even consider that, huh? Another scroll stop. Jump into nothing. Shell jump. It's a. Okay. Now I can see where the end of the bucket is for the shell jump. Okay, so now, yeah, get the shell. There it is, and then pokey. Uh, you know, I, I don't know what you're supposed to do with that. Uh, I will note that the use of the donut platforms, um, as you know, we've, I don't think we've ever stood on a donut platform. But the use of them as a graphic, um, as a way to have floating munches, has not gone gone unnoticed. It's a, it's honestly a clever way to get away with floating lunches without being called out. Except I just did. There we go. Starts smoothly and gets much harder quite fast. Well, that was smooth. That was the smoothest this game is going to be. Now we have to look at sync. Which uh, is indeed a level two. You're going to jump out first. Goomba, why? Why? You throw it up and then use the bat to go across. Yep, Cave Lava has a very accurate hitbox as well. Okay, uh, do a high jump and throw. That one, can I? I've got to recatch it as well, which is probably going to work. For some reason. Don't know why. So there and then back. Alright. Really long re grab there. And yep, alright. I did a stream yesterday and no, I took the day off. Uh, and by day off, I mean I listened to uh, a Sade album and, uh, and did Lunar Magic by myself. Got a lot of stuff done. 
Got all my video editing up to date too. Why? What? What? Why? Oh my god, we got, we got double on-off switch problems. Alright. It's happened twice in a row now. Pat, pat. Easy. Oh my god. Have we taken the Borgy blocks too far? You know, for the uninitiated, you might think that there's a million sprites. You might think this is a Mario Maker level, where you're allowed to have 50 gazillion sprites. But they are, um... They're actually blocks on, on a sinking layer, too. <laughs> Smooth Operator? No, I wasn't listening to that album. I was listening to the album Promise. I think you're thinking of the album Diamond Life, the debut album. Have I watched Jimmy Neutron? Nah. Nah, I haven't watched Jimmy Neutron. I mean, I'm not saying kids' shows aren't entertaining. Wow, you gotta be really fast. Not none of this baby stuff like Jimmy Neutron. Alright. And Sade, yeah. Don't, uh, don't get me twisted. Oh, why? Just jump through, jump through the little gap. It is a cool level. I like the concept is really cool. Having a bunch of like, you know, bulky blocks on layer two. It's very cool. There we are. Second level done. I feel like that was easy in the first one. Okay, next level is called Paleontology. Because there's going to be dinosaurs. There's going to be uh, dino rhinos. There we are. Oh. Jam and tunes, though. <laughs> I think that level might be uh, it might be readable. I'm just putting it out there. Jesus. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> Jump. Alright, two bounces on the uh, on the little mini torch guy. So there, there, then that. Under, over. Jump somewhere. I've gotten very bad at, at controlling Mario, unless the camera is following him. One, two, three. And then, oh, uh, something's going to have to appear over, like, from that one up zero. Jump, spin. I'm sure, I'm sure that that was going to, we're going to do it better. It was that dark year that I wasn't able to play online. I had to just like play against bots offline. And then train for when I could go back the next year when I, well, I didn't know, but like the next year, the ISP brought back the unlimited plans. Goomba! 
I got a mushroom. All right, there we go. Very cool, very cool. It's the next level, we've got Scandent Stems. As in, look that up for me. What the hell is Scandent? I like this song. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Makes me think of old movies. Uh, all right, so then you can jump up there. Yeah, actually, you know what it is? It makes me think of um, watching like um, like the, the the highlights of like the cricket or something. Like it's it, the year is 1991. Um, you know, I didn't know anyone that was old enough to watch Terminator 2. Easy game. Easy game. I think the first time I saw Terminator 2 was not in you know, when it came out. Definitely wasn't going to be hard enough without that. Let's figure it out now. Well, nope, that ain't it either. Yeah. It's a good thing this section doesn't suck. It's okay to play it repeatedly. There we go. Uh, auto scroll. Alright. This section was extremely tight before, it took you forever to beat it. Boy, I'm glad that it's not extremely tight anymore so that even I am able to beat it. What are those? Are death blocks. Um, alright. You can, I guess you're able to jump that somehow. still extremely tight and you have to you have to do that oh my god Can I actually grab these vines you gotta hit that and go over yeah, all right. And then I don't understand what's going to happen there. I don't know. Uh, I think I just stay still. I, I don't even know. Right. Too many moving objects, too many auto scrolling. I, I want to get back to being in control of the camera again. Tough one. Why is that level so freaking hard? The second level, the second half of that's too hard. But I got it. All right, next level is called Fall, which is we call it Autumn um, down here. Back and forth. Alright, sure. That was a weird... Wait, so what, what does the note block do? I'm guessing it reflects it back. What a strange thing to dump me into. I should have paused it. This is this one. Okay, got to throw that way the hell earlier. This is not what I've been working on. This is Chicanery by Bufflin and Nerve. 
I don't make things that look like this. I despise the rope tile set. Although I gotta say, they actually fix the rope corners. Um, by default, they look like trash. They've done a good job making them look good. Right, there we go. They are what they are. How do you match those up? Doesn't matter. Look, the point is, it's, you know, they put some effort in. It's a decent rope set. If you spent a long time doing making them, then I believe you. Because I know, like, how much, how intimately familiar you get with the vanilla graphics. <laughs> when you spend any amount of time, like, playing around with them. You've probably got some good solutions. That has to be a spin. Alright, I'm just hanging there for a sec. The, yeah, the corners aren't wound. If it were a real rope, yeah, if, if it were a real rope. <laughs> That's true. Uh, what am I doing? There's a death block. Alright, spin. The death blocks are green in this level, by the way, for some reason. Oh, we're keeping that guy. And I'm guessing that we need to delay... What's the order here? Uh, yeah. And damage boot? Wait, what the hell is this? We have to damage on the munches and then go back, I'm pretty sure. I don't think... Um, yeah. No, you don't, because that guy... That, I thought that guy was going to fall down the pit. I didn't pay attention to that. Alright, that ain't it. <sighs> I need the shell. That's why I need to pause it. And this one, we got to somehow get to the red shell. Like, what? what is that? Is that something that's possible to do? Dude, what? How? Oh my god. Why does it have to be that tight? I know what the move is. But, well, you just got to do it, like, amazingly well. Okay. I, I've, I have no idea what this is. It is that, and then that. No, okay, you have to throw it up. I need to pause. I need to pause and look at what the key move was. to see it all. I wouldn't say it's a readable section. It's fine. 